Guys, 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 guys. I found out a way to fix Ragmall Spark and Zero. All the issues we've had with it are gonna be gone. Just follow my lead here. So start at the home screen, right? Go back to the home screen. Close the game. This might look a little different if you're on PC or on Xbox. Just follow along, all right? Then what you wanna do, you wanna click the options. You got one, two, three. One, two, three. Then you gotta make sure check for update, all right? If there's an update, update it. If not, that's fine too. Click OK. Click the game to open again. Let it load. Just let it load. And there we have it. The game has been fixed, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it just beautiful? Look at those 2D PNGs floating around the screen. Tell them. Okay, everybody. So as you can see, a little bit of a joke there, obviously, to start off. I just, I was having a little bit of enough of Dragon Ball and Zero, so I figured, let's go back to the past, a blast of the past. It's been probably a year or more since I played this game, and I played this for hundreds, maybe thousands of hours as a kid. So let's check out how much different it feels. We're going to hop into the story mode, and I'm actually excited here. I'm so excited to go back into this game. It's a little sad that... Sparking Zero has made me excited to go back to this. I was hoping that this would just kind of live in the past as a once in a while, you know, once every five year kind of game I would play just for fun. We're going hard difficulty, you already know. Starting off with the Saiyan Saga. Here we go. Man, already just the voice acting at every point. There's no PNGs or JPEGs floating on my screen. I've been making me read over the story. This is so much better already. Oh my god. And watch, watch, something revolutionary. Oh my god. Somebody's actually speaking and telling us what's going on in the story. Isn't that revolutionary? Watch, look. An actual narrator. Oh my god. I'm gonna let it play out just for the fact that we don't have a narrator in Sparking Zero. God damn. Now, don't get me wrong, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi through story mode is by no means uh, the holy grail of story modes in Dragon Ball games. Whether that's through cutscenes, which they don't technically have, or in terms of just the way they formatted it, definitely not the best story mode. But go based on what we have in Spark and Zero, this is like godly. And it's been a while since I've played this, obviously. Goddamn. I'm playing with cast controls. This is so different. I'm not used to class controls. I've been playing with standard. Oh my god. Class controls are tough. Shit. Oh my god, I forgot he has super armor. Okay, Piccolo, come out here. I got I got my ass beat. Come on, Piccolo, you, you got this shit. Oh my god. Stop it. Please, I'm trying to figure shit out. It's been a while. Since I played with these controls. Oh, this is going to be tough when I go back to Spartan Zero to flip between Standard and Classic. God damn. Oh, shit. Bro, how does this game just, like, feel better fighting-wise? Ow. Okay, I'm getting cooked. I'm getting cooked a little bit. Look how slow you charge. Eat him, eat it, eat it, eat it, Raditz. God damn. Thing is, with this game, obviously, one thing Spark and Zero has over this game, there's no what ifs. You can't really beat it a certain way to make things different. I mean, you can beat Raditz without, like, an R3. It doesn't really do anything to the story. I do notice the music is a little louder than the dialogue, which isn't great. I guess I could change that in settings later. But guys, let me know. What game do you actually prefer? If you've played both Budokai Tenkai 3 and Spark and Zero, like, where would you rank them in relation to each other, genuinely? And try and not be super biased, because I know lately with Spark and Zero with online, it's been just a mess. Let's just pretend like there's no online Spark and Zero. Even offline mode. How are you feeling about the game when you play it offline? I mean, the story mode and everything. Oh, shit. Forgot I have to do that with the analog. I personally would say... Story mode, of course, I just think Budokai Tenkaichi 3 is better. The only thing that 
Going zero is better that it has super, but that's not fair comparison because super didn't exist back then. Uh, in terms of actual just fighting gameplay, again, Budokai Tenkai H3 again just has little things that are better. Key sickness, vanishes aren't as broken. Also, I don't think they're as easy to, to get or to hit. Super counters aren't, you know, used every half a second by the PC. And you can't spam it the way that you can in Sparking Zero. Because if you mess up a super counter, which I never even learned how to do, I don't think, back in the day properly. But if you mess it up, it locks you out for like 10 frames or so. Oh, here we go. This was something I never was able to do back when I was a kid. This is really hard. I barely ever won those in the hundreds and hundreds of times I've played these story modes on Tenkai Chibi. I don't think I've ever won one of them. Yeah, hit him with the Kamehameha. Oh, shit. I don't remember how to... Stop, stop, stop. I don't remember how to do my things. Okay. Is he going to hit me first? He's going to hit me first. Oh, I hit him. Let's go. Not that I'm supposed to know the spirit bomb here. It's not canon, but it's all good. And what do I got? Hold on. Sorry, guys. It's 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 been a minute. I've used these controls. Kamehame. Ha! Okay. Fair enough. And also, that's another thing. Now I just use the Kamehame. Oh, shit. I just realized... You guys prefer having the tracking beams, or would you rather it be as easily dodgeable as it is in Tenkai G3? I think the tracking beams, especially because we have online, is probably for the best. Are you ready for this? Oh, shit. There's some things I just don't remember how to do in class controls, so I'll be honest. Do it, Piccolo. Let's do it twice. Oh, shit. Let's do it. Let's hit him with it. This would be a JPEG in Spark and Zero. Hey. That's the thing about this game. It would actually make you do things when you click like R3 and stuff. It would make you do scenarios that were actually in the fights. Like later with Goku vs. Vegeta, I think it actually makes you beam clash. Which is it's what you want. You want to recreate the story. If we're playing story mode, let me fight as it happened. For me, that's where I find the fun in it, personally. I don't know about you guys. What ifs are cool and all, but if we're going to follow the story as it is, then let me follow the story as it is. Like in Tenkai, in Spark and Zero, doesn't Piccolo, his special beam cannon, just happen in a little cutscene? You don't even get to actually use it as a character? I mean... I think it's just better to, when you actually get to use the moves and be in it. Come on, Piccolo. All right. That was so much fun being back in that game. I know I was pretty ass because, again, I haven't used these controls in a minute. But um, I will, as you can see, that's a completely new save file. So I have nothing unlocked in this game. But uh, if you guys want me to continue the game, and actually continue the story mode in Budokai Tenkai G3. 50 likes. 50 likes and I'll do it. But we are going to obviously just continue this video. I'm not done yet. But if you want me to continue past, let's say, the Saiyan Saga. Then 50 likes and I'll, I'll do a continuation of the story mode for, for Budokai Tenkai G3. Or Sparking Meteor, should I call it. I don't think I've ever gotten past two layers of bulls. I don't think I've ever gotten to the third layer. Come on, we're almost there. Those mini games too are just fun. I know you don't need them in Spark and Zero because it shit loads way quicker. But it was a fun, fun throwback. Bro, and this is another thing. You can play as like characters and get your ass beat. Like it's it's cool. I can't remember how to vanish. Oh my god, I don't remember how to vanish. Shit. I'm so ass. We gotta try beam him though. Oh, how come I can actually move him? That's not realistic. Ow. Watch me. Nope. Ah, I can't remember how to vanish. No, Nappa, stop it. Oh my god, this guy murked me. I thought that was a tri beam. Screw it. Goodbye, Tien. Oh no, he got super armor. Oh no, never mind. It's... I cannot remember, man. 
out of tech grabs or anything. I'll learn as if, if this video gets 50 likes and I keep playing, I'll, I'll learn as we go along. Eat it. That was shit. Throw a rock at him. Or just do this. Just just blow yourself up already, Chaosu. Don't try this at home, everybody. Ah, I love that line. Love that scream from Tien. I'm almost dead, though. I'm basically dead. Ah! Ah, I'm dead. I'm dead. The music is a little too loud in the story mode. I forgot that it was this loud. Uh, one thing I was going to say, back to what I was talking about earlier, Sparking Zero versus Tenkai G3. I think the only thing I can confidently say that Sparking Zero has over this game is graphics, and that's not even... It's not saying much. It's been 18 years. So, 17 years, whatever long. And also... Stephanie Nadolny as Kid Gohan, Kid Goku. Also, also better. I just, no offense, I do not like the new Kid Gohan, Kid Goku voice. No offense to the voice actor, it's just it's nowhere near as good, in my opinion. Oh, shit. Senko, eat that. Cannon. Cannon? Oh, I managed to dodge something, finally. Oh, crap. I'm trying to find things as well, like, what... What is better in but Sparking Zero? I'm trying to find things that I play, like what feels better control-wise. Hold on, hold on, chill, chill. How do I block those? God damn, I'm getting cooked. L2 plus triangle plus up. Oh, that's what I was doing wrong. That's what I was doing wrong, okay. Ah. Piccolo, I don't want you to die yet. No! Stop. Fuck it. Pickle, do your thing. Yeah, so you know, story mode here is it, it's janky the way they do it, but at least they follow the, the canon and you get to see things in game. You know what I mean? As opposed to reading off a JPEG. And the music is just better. Well, I don't know if it's better. I can't say that because I always have the music off when I record because I want to put my own music. But I use Tenkai H3 music in my Spark and Zero videos. I should tell you something. It's mainly the fact that they actually have music attached to maps in this game and attached to different characters even maybe. I'm not sure about that, but definitely attached to different maps. And that makes it, I guess, well, I can hear more of the music as opposed to Spark and Zero, I have to choose a song every time I enter a game. It's just so tedious. Go on. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you. And if I do do another video and you want me to shut the fuck up when they're talking, I will. I just didn't know. It's like a one-off video as of right now. I didn't know if you guys cared if I talked over the, the story mode or not. And I promise I'll try and get better in the following videos. If we get 50 likes... Uh, Come on. Let me learn some shit. Yeah, that's cool. Let's use this. Go. Boom. Wait until dad gets here. Wait, where's Krillin? Krillin should pop off too. I am sad they missed the side men fight. Yeah, so this game isn't perfect. It did miss fights. Oh, crap. Fuck that. Do that again. Again? Oh, shit. Come on, Krillin. He's got full health again. Oh. It's Goku. Goku! So you finally showed up. What's with that look on your face? I don't like it. Supposed to have your armor off, but it's all good. Is this how badly you want me to kill you? You guys are going to pay for this! Mmm. That's cook him. Ah oh, shit, I don't remember how to grab. It's over 9,000! Oh, there we go. The normal Vanish War. Why can't you turn around, Goku? Not broken. Love it. Oh, shit. Ah. 
I will say the uh, the way they attack is a little slower, I feel like, in this game. Boom. Boom. See how much Spanish gauge that took. Not one bar. Or one bar, sorry. It did take one bar, not a quarter of a bar, so we can do it 15,000 times. Okay, let me do this. Ah, oh, shit. Boom, boom, boom. Hook him. Power up. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot how to descend properly. Turn around, hit him. Boom. I'm trying to grab him. How do you grab again? Okay, fine. Fair enough. Kaioken, hit him. Ah, oh, shit. I gotta finish him with the Kaioken. Boom. Nope. Boom. Let's finish him with the proper way. Goku. What are you doing? We gotta finish him with the Kaioken. We gotta finish him with the Kaioken. There we go. Even though this is more like what he did against Vegeta, but it's, it's all good. Man. I'm just smiling the whole time I'm playing this. I'm having so much fun. Even if this doesn't get 50 likes, I'll probably keep playing on my own. Maybe I'll download some mods, some fun stuff. I should do that for Sparking Zero, though. I know there are mods. I just got to buy it on Steam then in order to do that. And I only have it on PlayStation 5. So it's like 100 bucks I got to spend. So I don't know if that's worth it. seems to exceed even that i just love how the characters like talk over i just missed so many creative things i could have done with the story mode right, let's go. i don't want to keep shitting on story mode as part of zero i'm doing it too much however vegeta may be a problem goku is in a fight for his life against vegeta who's powered up to the max there we go uh what was i gonna say i don't want to show on the story mode too much mainly because i'll probably do a review on all of sparking zero and i can I can shit on it in there and i've already made a video shitting on vegeta's story mode so Go check that out if you haven't seen it. <laughs> you should be pleased, a low-class warrior like you. I like this era of Vegeta's voice. Gets to play with an elite he, like Sir Sabbat, just kind of softened his voice. I felt like a little bit for, for Super and for Kai even maybe. And I just like this old, a little bit raspier. And I like the mix of raspy and deep. Now it's just mainly deep, not much rasp. Besides, with enough hard work, even a low class can surpass an elite. You tell them, unless you're playing Spark and Zero. And they're using Super Vegito. Like my last video. <laughs> ready? Fight. I don't know why they got rid of that too. The ready fight thing. I really like that. And also on online, I feel like there should be a Like sometimes it just throws you into a fight on the most shit. It just starts out of nowhere. Fuck. Bro, you see how bad I am at the game? And you can't just Sonic Sway in the middle of somebody comboing you? It's, it's, it makes sense. It actually makes sense. I still hold out hope that they're going to fix the game, though. Let's... No, not what I wanted to do. This actually was used against Vegeta. Vegeta, let me hit you. Vegeta, no, 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 not what I meant to do. I will say, sometimes the the uh, AI was a little bit dumb in this game. And it's probably smarter in Spark and Zero. So that's another thing. See, I'm, I'm slowly finding little things that might have been a uh, uh, fuck off, Vegeta. Slowly finding little things that were better in the new game. Oh, here we go. We're flashing. Flash. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. There we go. Cannon, baby. All right, now what? Hold on, I gotta go Kaioken. Kaioken! Are we gonna clash? Yeah, I think we clash here. I don't quite remember what happens. I think this is it. Yes, here we go. You and everyone else on Earth. 
Here we go. This is one thing that, for some reason, I don't understand why they messed up beam clashes in the new game. Because if that same thing happened in Kodakai or in Spark and Zero, you know what would happen? They would teleport you to the middle of the screen. Hey, Dragon Ball. They would teleport you to the middle of the screen and then you would just beam clash in the middle of the arena. Why? What's the point? Not to mention the fact that beam clash look kind of funky. I don't like how they all look exactly the same. No matter what distance you, you fire from, it just makes it all look the same. And it's, it's not what you want to see. Not what you want to see. There's so many little blueprint things they have in this game that they just literally needed to copy. How do you grab? I don't remember how to grab. How do you grab? I don't remember how to grab. I remember now. 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 That's it. There we go. I remember. Ow. Let me Kaioken again. Okay, not good. Grab him. Let's do it again. Oh, Vegeta, you're supposed to go grade ape at this point. Do we go grade ape here? I don't remember. I don't remember how this... Yep, yep, here it is. Question has been answered. I didn't know... I never noticed Vegeta has a little uh, sword kind of mark on his armor in this broken armor form. That's cool. Oh shit. Especially with how bad I am with these controls, I'm gonna I'm gonna be cooked. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. Yeah, Jerobi, help me. Nope. I remember how to tech grabs now, buddy. I remember some things now. Nope. Nope, not happening. See, giants also weren't as like huge in this game. Which I don't actually I didn't actually recall until just now. See, that's what a vanish war should be, not fifteen thousand vanishes. Uh, but Giants weren't as big. It shouldn't make them as, like, annoying to fight against. Still annoying, as they probably should be, but not nearly as... Like, their rushes don't just immediately knock you back. And their down smashes aren't broken for some random reason. Oh, boy. Here we go. I'm gonna win this. Yes! I actually won one. Holy shit. That's like a first in my lifetime, maybe. They don't get stunned, though, which is annoying. That might just be for the story mode. I'm not sure. God damn it, Vegeta. Get the fuck away from me. Let me Kaioken this bitch. Let me double Kaioken you. Oh, shit. Yeah, there we go. Stay right there. 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 Fuck. Okay. Well, just when I would like you to bend... Pause. No. Nope. Not gonna happen. I should have actually let him do that so you guys could see when he runs out of his sparking. Because that was an instant sparking. He would actually have key sickness. A revolutionary concept Sparking Zero forgot about. But now you can just instant sparking without any consequence in the new game. It's, it's still stupid. Yeah, eat this. Whoops. Yeah, he's eating this. He's eating it. Also, for some reason, they weren't able to animate giants getting hit by certain attacks like that in Spartan Zero. I'm shitting on the game too much, maybe. I still like the game. I really do. I even love it, in fact. I really do. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I'm dead. I'm essentially dead. Do I have to win the fight? Krillin and Gohan aren't going to come through? I got to hit him with the... I got to hit him with this if I want to win then. Because I don't think I'm good enough to... Take him head on right now. 
And it's not quite how the fight finished, but... But okay. I do wish they made it... I don't remember them... I don't remember that fight very well. I wish they made it Gohan and Curling come through in Yajirobe, but it's... It's fine. It's fine. All right, the Frieza Saga has been unlocked. And a few movies, I guess, as well. But I think that's where I'm going to end the video, because, like I said... <sighs> Seems the Saiyan well, threat is Let Piccolo talk. It was Goku's fault. It was so soft, you let Vegeta escape. <laughs> well, well, what are you doing here, Namekian? You. So you did survive. I'm going to your world, planet Namek. I'm going to become immortal using the Dragon Balls. Just as I thought, but I won't let you. Gohan and Krillin should be heading to planet Namek already. Goku probably just got there. What? Goku is Kakarot? This is getting really complicated. I've got to hurry. Later. Thanks to Goku, the Earth is saved. Relying on the Dragon Balls on the distant planet Namek to revive their dead friends, the Z Fighters take to the stars. Will the Z Fighters get to the Dragon Balls first? Or will it be Vegeta? It's anyone's game. Bro, and the narration is great. Ah, oh, you just... This is how you do a story mode. Again, story mode in this game, I'd probably give like a 6 out of 10. It's not great, but... Some basic things like narration. And leading me into the next arc. Great. Just simple. Anyways, that's going to be where I'm going to end it. If you guys actually want to see a second video. 50 likes and I'll do the Planet Namek Saga on this channel as well. And I, I will keep playing Spark and Zero. I still love the game. It just had so many issues that could be that could be fixed so simply just by looking back on this game. So it's just frustrating. But I will keep playing that game. Maybe I'll do some mods. We'll see. With that being said, guys, I love you all. Take it easy. Catch you in the next video. And peace.